This Pride Month, GLAAD released its first ever list of LGBTQ change makers, 20 and younger, who are making huge strides in social justice. Meet the future phenom who inspired a climate justice revolution and is paving a way for others like her. You know, I always say I was born caring. At just 18, Jamie Margolin's already figured out how to make waves by channeling her passion for climate change into major action. What do we want? When do we want it? Now! Jamie isn't just waiting for change, she's on the front lines of creating it, fighting to make a difference on climate change. Back in 2017, um, and laid the groundwork for what is now known as the modern youth climate movement. She's already created a book and an organization. I am an author of a new book called Youth to Power, Your Voice and How to Use It. And I'm also a co-founder of the international youth climate justice organization called Zero Hour. And we are a space for um, especially like young women is, is who, who runs the show in Zero Hour. So it's a space for people who um, maybe didn't at first feel at home in the environmental movement to, to have a place where they can lead. While she's still a teenager, she already has the credentials of a seasoned activist. She's organized major rallies, campaigned with Bernie Sanders, spoken at major engagements around the world, won significant awards, and even testified before Congress with fellow environmental activist Greta Thunberg. It is right here testifying before you that I'm proud to announce that history is being made. You've heard of the Reagan era, the New Deal era. Well, the youth are bringing about the era of the Green New Deal. That was truly incredible. And I did that alongside Greta, which was also great because we had been like pen pals online for since long before people knew who she was. And now Jamie's been named to GLAD's inaugural 20 Under 20 class, a group of bright and determined change makers in the LGBTQ community, lending their voices to advancing various social justice causes. Jamie stands out because of all the work she's done on climate justice. She's identified as lesbian. She's out there on the forefront with her voice, using her platforms, connecting, creating real change. And I think like so many young kids, Jamie felt frustrated by seeing no action by leadership, by the older generation, and took matters into her own hands. And that has been really refreshing for someone like me, who is a social justice advocate, to see see this next generation of leaders come up is just, it, it's, it's really heartwarming. Jamie says the recognition marks a full circle moment in her life. This means so much to me because, you know, they're specifically honoring LGBTQ plus youth. And for the first 16 years of my life, um, me being a lesbian was my deepest, darkest secret that I hated about myself. And it was just, you know, I thought I was broken for not liking boys. And that self-acceptance is deeply felt in her work. Jamie uses her platform to be the role model she says she never had. The reason why I went through so much anguish and, and hurt in my life is because I didn't have any representation and I didn't see anyone like me. And so as I started to gain a platform from my activism, I started to speak a bunch on social media about being queer, about issues, about representation. She hopes to inspire a generation of activists to make a difference and make their voices heard. What I tell young people who are just, you know, down on themselves is that age isn't a factor. It's just like, do you care about something? Do what you can with what you have to change it. I'm just a girl from Seattle who decided to make a change with what I had. And then what I had grew as I grew more. Um, and so I would just say, find something that you care about that really makes you tick, that really is like, I genuinely care about this and this affects me. As for Jamie's next step, she's heading to college with dreams to expand LGBTQ inclusion in the mainstream. I just graduated high school like a month or two ago, um, online of course, and I'm, I'm going to college and I'm going to film school because I want to work in media to create um, movies and shows and all that stuff that feature girls like me so no one else has to turn on the TV and see no one who looks like them, no one who um, who loves like them and, and feel so alone. And I don't ever want anyone to feel like I did. Representation matters indeed. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.